What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. Bruce Wayne and I have been brainstorming topics to cover and we're at a loss. Bruce's ideas were lame. He wanted to take a nap on video, show how he takes a nap, go over the tips for taking a nap and his favorite places to nap. I'm like, bro, we, we need some good ideas. Bruce Wayne, do you have any other video ideas? Come here. I need, a, we, we need, our people need a topic. What's this? A note. Is this your video idea? Who made me? Bro, first off, we need to work on your spelling. Yeah, you don't know how to spell. And actually, that's a good that's a good topic. Who made me? Who made Bruce Wayne? Do you guys want to see a video on who made Bruce Wayne? I tell you what. How about if we get to 100,000 subscribers in the next three months? That's completely doable. And I can only do it with you guys. 100%, I need your help to do this. If we can get to 100,000 subscribers in the next 90 days, we can do a video on Bruce's breeder and who made this dude. His head is massive. So should we do that, bro? For 100,000 subscribers, if we can do that in 90 days, I think that sounds like a good idea. But we can't do it unless you guys subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, ring my dingling so you miss any of the newest videos on Kane Corsos or Bruce Wayne. And also guys, thank you so much. The channel is growing so rapidly. If you guys really want to see this video, hit, make sure you do hit that like button, but also share the video with your friends because the more you share it, the more chances are somebody's gonna get subscribed, meaning the more chances we're gonna get, hit 100,000 by 90 days from now. It's a big goal. I like to put big goals on myself. As a community, I feel like we can do it. So maybe in today's video, what we do is we discuss how we let Bruce free roam through the house at all times and just completely did away with his crate. I'm gonna be honest here, there's a point in time when I thought, this dude, I thought you were gonna be crated for life, bro. Yeah, you, he was, he wasn't always as perfect. I seriously thought that we were gonna have to leave him crated forever. Let me, let me start why I thought we would never ever be able to leave this guy out of his crate. In another video I discussed working eight plus hours a day and owning a Kane Corso. And this is why there's a point in time when I thought there's no way I could ever leave my Kane Corso not crated home alone all day long. As I discussed, he he was great for up until about five or six months. Then he started chewing the windowsills. Um, then we had to crate him. Uh, then I gave it probably a few weeks and I let him back out of his crate when we were at home in the room to see how he'd react. And he went back to the windowsills. He chewed up the carpet. All these things it's, and it's just like one of those things it's like no matter how obedient your dog is they have to have a lot of maturity and they can't be anxious and he wasn't anxious but he just wasn't mature enough it wasn't until 16 months old he was able to free roam the house and that was taking baby steps at 16 months that's when we really really started to push it my previous dog was nine months he was an english bulldog and they mature much faster these guys aren't fully mature till three or four. Step one, your dog has to be 100%. What are you looking at? Do you see dead people? Ever creep you out when your dog just stares at something? Like a closet? <laughs> it's like, what are you looking at, bro? So complete, complete obedience training. They have to have obedience training and house manners on lock. Unlock like this dude. And if you guys need help getting there, being a proper leader, check out the links in the description. There's some training courses. There's a puppy training guide. There's a canine boot camp, and they teach you how to be a proper leader to your dog so you can have a perfect dog with wonderful house manners like Bruce Wayne. It'll teach you how to be a proper leader. And all of this leads to better communication with your dog. If your dog doesn't know what you want from it, then how's he going to do what you want him to do? Highly, highly recommend those courses. It's basically exactly the, the philosophy of how I train Bruce. And if you use code Jason, you get 10% off. So now that he's completely obedience trained, he's 16 months old. He's still in his crate at night. He's still in his crate when we leave. You gotta take baby steps. So the first baby step we took, what'd we do, Bruce? First off, we left the house, him not crated, literally for two minutes. That's it. Two minutes. One day, two minutes. Nothing was out of place. The next day, did it again for three minutes. The next day, four, and then the next day, five. You see the pattern here. I don't need to go through every single minute. Do I need to go through every minute? When we got to five minutes, then I bumped it up to 10 minutes. Now, dogs are very smart. They know when you actually leave. They can watch you go down the driveway. They can hear the car pull away. So every time we did this, I literally got in the car and pulled away, even if it was just for a minute. Now I wanted to extend it. There is no incidences. If there is an incidence where any of those times he got into something he wasn't supposed to, I would have had to recreate him and give it another couple weeks because he wasn't mature enough. Because remember, we don't want to create a habit, meaning we don't want to create any fails. We want as many successes as possible, right bro? As many successes. So after five minutes, moved it to 10, then I'm like, all right, let's, let me take a trip to the store, see how he does. He's fine. So now we're at 20 minutes or so. Still, I still don't trust him enough to leave him out all day long. So now what I did when I got to that 20 minute mark, I'm like, okay, 
Well, let's not crate him at night. He'll be free roam all night long. He can roam wherever he wants. He can sleep where he wants, but at least we're home. So yes, if he's chewing on the coffee table, I'm not going to wake up. But if he gets into something that's making too much noise, hopefully I'll wake up and, and I can stop him, put him in his crate, whatever. So that I believe was a massive step in getting him to be comfortable home alone was leaving him free roam at night. That was when we really extended the time. When I was at 15 or 20 minutes, I still wasn't comfortable, like I said, leaving him home alone all day long. So this was the big first transitional step, not creating him at night. I leave the bedroom door open. We had a bed next to the bed where he could sleep if he wanted. It was such a massive step in, in gaining that trust of the dog in knowing he's at least confident not being crated while we're sleeping. And I did this probably for about a, two weeks or so before I extended his daytime completely home alone time. Again, no incidences. Let's extend the 20 minutes home alone to let's not crate him when I go to the gym in the morning. It's a half hour each way to the gym, so there's at least an hour. And then on top of that, I'm working out for an hour, hour and a half. So we're talking he's home alone now two, two and a half hours. He did wonderful, almost. Do you remember when you chewed up the uh, that chest? Yep, he chewed, us, he chewed up some furniture. But what happened was my wife's sister forgot something at the house the night before. She texted my wife, my wife told her just to go and get it. The dog's not crated. I didn't know about this until after the fact. My wife texted me, Alyssa came and picked up her glasses this morning. The dog moved on me, Bruce, I can't even see, there you go, okay. I guess this is how we're doing it. So the first thing that went through my mind is, no, somebody came in the house when the dog was home alone. It's gonna cause some weird anxiety in him and he's gonna destroy something. Well, what do you think happened? He destroyed something. Nothing was destroyed when my sister-in-law came over. She came over, got her glasses, probably pet the dog. Now that created a anxiety in the dog because he's not used to a stranger coming over. And not a stranger, she knows her very well, but he knows she doesn't live here. So there's that, and then she leaves. And the dog's like, I don't know how she left the house. I don't know if she, you know, talked to the dog in a high-pitched voice or, or not. But that was the first thing through, that went through my head. I'm like, no, I wish you would have told me that, Kara, because I would have said, no, absolutely not. Nobody can come in the house when the dog's, when we're training him right now to free roam. I get home and we have a chest, like one of those little cabinet things, and it was just all nod, chewed up. Why are you giving, why are you snubbing your, yeah. Why are you snubbing our people? Why are you snubbing our people? Can you give me a kiss? Thank you. Thank you. Yep. And I was, I was like, no. So guess what? Back in the crate. Because he did that one bad thing, I didn't want that one bad thing to lead to another bad thing to lead to another bad thing. Started creating him again. Had to start from scratch. I think we gave it, now... It's not like I wrote this down or documented it. I think I gave it two weeks, at least one week before trying to let him free roam again. But I think it was two. So after two weeks, did the same thing again. Started literally at square one. Leave him home for a minute. Leave the house. Leave him home for two minutes. Leave the house. I repeat the same exact pattern. We also created him at night through those two weeks. Like I said, we started 100% from scratch again. Once we build up his 15, 20 minutes, that's when, again, now he's free roaming at night. After two, three weeks, again, went to the gym for two, two and a half hours, came home, everything was good. And I repeated this process. It's one of those things where you really, really want to rush it because you just want your dog to be all mature. You want your dog to like, you don't want to crate your dog. It's, it's seriously so much less stress just being able to walk out the door and knowing your dog's walking around happy as can be, sleeping where he wants, and he's not going to get anything and he's safe. And, and we all want to rush it and get our dogs there. But especially these guys, they mature so slow. There is no rushing anything with these guys, unfortunately. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of patience. You have to have amazing communication with your dog. Your dog has to be on point at all times. So that is the process I followed. There's no secret sauce. There's no magic recipe. It literally was just doing that after I had him 100% obedience trained. Anybody has a Corso, they all are gonna mature at slightly different rates. Like I said, he was around 16 months when I tried it and I, had to, I did have to start over once. So I'd wait 14 to 18 months, anybody that wants to try this with the Corso. If you have a breed that matures sooner, obviously you can do it sooner than that. Start slow, take your time. It's actually gonna take you less time than if you have a fail and have to start all the way back at square one again. Be patient, be kind to your animal. If they get into something, 
Don't yell at them when you get home because guess what? They don't know what they just did and why they're why you're yelling at them. People are like, oh, my dog knows because I pointed to this and I showed him that and he was all timid and scared. He's scared because of your body language. He has no clue what you're trying to tell him. He doesn't remember chewing that up or that it was wrong. He's scared because of how you're dominating him right now with your attitude or personality. They don't really know what they just did wrong. So if the dog does get into something, don't even try to correct it because the time has passed. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some insight and I actually hope it really helped you guys out so you too can have your Kanai Corso free roaming through the house at all times. I mean, what good's a guard dog if you can't guard the house? You can't get the wet bandits if he's crated. Now mind you, I'm a huge supporter of crate training especially through puppyhood and even some dogs can be crated their whole lives my previous english bulldog he would free roam all day long but he literally loved his crate so much 8 30 like clockwork every single night he'd go to his bedroom and just stand there and stare at us because he literally wanted us to put him in his crate and lock it so don't shy away from crate training it's a wonderful tool guys bruce wayne and i will see you guys soon don't forget our goal. We have big goals on this channel, and I would absolutely love it if we could hit 100,000 subscribers in the next 90 days. So don't forget to share the video, tell all your friends about Bruce Wayne, do all the things, like, subscribe, ring the ding-a-lings, and Bruce Wayne and I will see you soon. Peace.